everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 17 of Nanbaka. What? All the seriousness in the, like, the first 10, 9 minutes of the episode was just like... Wow, okay, all that seriousness. Those talismans are bad. I knew they were bad. I mean, sure, they look like they'd be fine, but apparently they can use commands on people to attack other people. So yeah, we picked up right where we left off uh, with Yamato attacking Hajime, and Hajime dealt with that in just a snap. It was very quick, you know. Setoro did get hurt, but he's fine. Everybody's fine, by the way. But Rock hurting Jugo was just really painful to watch because I'm like, Jugo? It's okay. He's still your friend. He's just being mind controlled right now. It's okay. Oh gosh. I did not like seeing that happen at all because it's just like, see this episode is called, the title of this episode is something is breaking. Yeah, it's called my heart. <laughs> oh gosh. But that entire scene was just like, oh boy. <laughs> but in the end, the ninja guy showed up and got the little uh, talisman off the back of Rock's neck and he just passed out, so everything's fine. But Jugo did take a beating. Um, oh boy, he took a beating. It was like, it took enough of a beating where when they went to the little hospital room, he had an eye patch. And until now, I never knew how much I needed Jugo with an eye patch because for some reason it was just kind of cute. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. I mean, I know he's like severely injured, but it's like, it's kind of cute though. <laughs> like, I don't know, just something about that eye patch. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but anyway, so after that, you know. They're trying to obviously figure out what's going on here with this whole talisman thing. And it's like, yeah, somebody is making a plan here to, like, I don't know what they're doing because, well, uh, it, uh, there were some funny moments, though, here and there um, to, you know, ease the tension of that, you know, first 10 or 9 minutes of the episode. It was like, oh, my. But, um, yeah, so, you know, uh, Jugo's fine. Uh, Rock still hasn't woken up. Um, I don't think Yamato has either. Um, Setoro, uh, I think he's uh, fine. Everybody's fine, but it's, you know, now we got to figure out what's going on in Building 5. Yeah, there's something going on there, because uh, there's this whole scene where, like, um, you know, everybody, Rock, uh, not Rock, but uh, Nico, Uno, and Jugo want to go to Building 5, so they can, you know, figure out what's going on. Hajime is also going to Building 5 to figure out what's going on, so they all, you know, after this whole little situation with Uno, being like, hey, you know, we'll escape while you're gone, basically, so you might want to take us with you. So, it, you know, it takes all Hajime's strength to be like... <sighs> Fine, I'll take them because I have no other option at the moment. So he does end up taking them to Building 5. You know, they get there and, you know, they obviously um, can't figure out what's going on from the outside. They get inside, but to do that, they open the door, unlock it. But it opens by itself. But before that, um, that announcer guy, I think his name's Mitsuru, you know, tons of, like, really weird, like, um, he also is in the camera room and he can see, you know, in Building 5, there's no guards. Nobody's around, so that's a thing. And then when everybody finally gets in the room and a cage falls on Hajime and the three, the other three, they fall down into the floor and from the preview it looks like they're like in a cell with the uh, inmates of Building 5, so that's a thing. Um, and why that is, I don't know. Why do they want to capture the inmates and also, I guess, the guards? Because um, Hajime's captured now and there's that, I guess, the one guard from Building 5 who showed up and was like, hey, what's up, um, at the end of the episode, so I'm like, Okay. Also, it was funny when um, the three fell like down the hole. Um, <laughs> Hajime like flipped them off. <laughs> like, oh gosh, it was so funny. I laughed so hard. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this was an interesting episode overall because it was like serious in the beginning, and then you know, just kind of like. Yeah, it's like, what's gonna happen next? It's like, I have no idea, and I'm really curious, because in the pre for the next episode, it looks like Monkey Guy is gonna show back up, and it also looks like his, um, I think in the previous episode, they say it was his brother is gonna show up, because I think I saw him, he's like this guy with, like, really long hair or something. So, yeah, the, the plot thickens for non -Bakra. Once again, the plot thickens. Um, and what's gonna happen from here? I have no idea. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, this was a really great episode. I very much enjoyed it. What did you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? Because, ah, you know, so I will see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye.